Runners will hit the pavement for the 51st annual New York Marathon this Sunday, and this year will be extra sentimental for one of the founders. Yeah, George Hirsch actually helped bring the marathon to life back in the 70s. Well, now he's passing the torch as he retires from the New York Road Runners, but now not before one last hurrah, and it's a G thing. G thing brought to you by Northwell, who believes when we raise health, we raise everyone. Northwell, raise health. 50,000 runners. The streets of New York City await you. We'll cross the starting line at the New York Marathon this year. This is where the world comes to run. And while emotions are high for all runners and spectators, this one is going to be extra special for this man, George Hirsch. After more than 50 years with the New York Road Runners, Hirsch is stepping down from the organization, retiring next year. You started in 1970. When I started running, um, running here in New York was a really small band of people. No one cared about running, right? except for us, and we cared a lot. George, who had been part of the New York Roadrunners, alongside running legend Fred LeBeau, were co-founders of the New York Marathon back in 1970, the course circling Central Park. In 1976, George and his partners up the ante. Do you remember a moment where the marathon took on another level? In 76, that was the game changer. When a prominent politician, Percy Sutton, Fred Lebo, and I went to see the then mayor, A. Bean, pitched him on a five borough marathon. The mayor agreed and the rest is history. 2,000 people showed up, which at that time was unheard of for a marathon. 100 were women, and uh, the two best marathon runners came to run. Me and you? Uh, not uh, not oh, you oh, and me. Oh, oh. The city embraced it yes. right from the start. George, as the years go by, what did the first marathon mean to you? When I got across the Verrazano Bridge and started running up through Brooklyn, I was like, man, this is, this is it. Tears in my eyes uh, in every way. What does this marathon mean? As the years go by, you've seen a lot of them. This whole week for me is, it's all of it. It's like Christmas and Halloween for a kid. But also the city comes to life in a way that no other time of year we, we see here. I, mean, I just love it. Oh, I love yeah. it. Well, at, at 88, by the way, uh, George is still running, clocking an 11-minute mile. Wow. Is that right, Gene? Yeah, that's true. And I'm out there cheering him on. I yeah. used to I used to go out there with him. Uh, he's remarkable. And uh, one nice romantic story. He was uh, met a woman on the bus of uh, the marathon, and they chatted. And then he didn't see her again. And for the whole race, he was looking for her. And he caught up to her at the five-mile mark. They finished the race, and they eventually got married and had a storybook oh, marriage. Oh, that's great. Really, really that's good. That's a great And story. George was the intellect. Freddie was the visionary. A wicked combination.